Hi, I am Uttara. Welcome to Weekly Sports News. Let's go through the headlines first. Paris 2024 Olympics. Sharath Kamal to be India's flag bearer. Mary Com chef the mission. Prime Volley League. Calicut Heroes beat newcomers Delhi Tufans to win maiden title. Indian Open Gem. Nayana backs gold with personal best mark. Records third best long gem by an Indian woman. Abdullah Abu Bakr emerged as the champion of Indian Open Gems competition. Eldos Paul took silver. Indian Open Gem. Kerala's Muhammad Anis Yehia won gold in men's long gem. Adira Somraj won gold in women's high gem. Nova Nirmal Tom pipped the national record holder Mohamed Anis Yehia for the top spot in the men's 400 meter race. News in details. Veteran table tennis player Sharath Kamal, a two-time Commonwealth Games champion and Gail Ratna awardee, will be India's flag bearer at the upcoming Paris Olympics. Former Winter Olympian Shiva Keshavan will serve as the deputy chef de mission while Gagan Narang will be in charge of the Indian shooting team in France. Sharath Kamal will be the 19th flag bearer for India at the Olympics. The flag bearer at the Olympic Games is a symbolic leader who is the first person to march a country's delegation out during the grand opening ceremony parade. The person proudly displays the country's flag during the parade. Athlete Purma Banerjee was India's first Olympic flag bearer at Antwerp in 1920 while boxing legend Mary Com and former Indian men's hockey team captain Manpreet Singh were jointly accorded the honour at Tokyo 2020. London 2012 bronze medalist Mary Com, who competed at her final summer games in Tokyo, will serve as the chef de mission for the Indian contingent in Paris. Lugar and Winter Olympian Shiva Keshavan has been appointed the deputy chef de mission. Calicut Hero stunned newcomers Delhi Tufans in the final of the Prime Volley League 2024 to lift their maiden trophy. With this performance, they also secured a spot at the FIVB Volleyball Men's Club World Championship 2024 to be held in Chennai from December 9 to 15 later this year. In the final, Delhi defence began well, cancelling out Calicut's aggressive attacks. Lasse Dodik and Sando showcased their attacking prowess, but a series of service errors from Delhi allowed Calicut to cover the deficit. Vigas Mann made solid blocks while Jerome Vinit contributed to Calicut's defence. Perotto's brilliant super serve helped the Calicut heroes get an early lead in the match. Delhi did not help themselves with unforced errors and Calicut started sailing. Daniel made two crucial blocks on Delhi attackers and Calicut heroes took a 2-0 lead. Two crucial blocks from Aponsa and Manoj reignited Delhi to win the third set. But in the fourth set, Jerome cancelled out Delhi's defence with vicious hits from the right and Calicut picked up a mammoth win. Score 15-13, 15-10, 13-15, 15-12. Kerala's Naina James recorded a personal best mark leaping 6.67 meter to secure the women's long jump gold at the third Indian Open Gems competition. Naina served another reminder with an attempt which was behind Anju Bobby Joe's national record of 6.83 meter in Athens 2004 and 20-year-old Shaley's 6.76 meter performance in Bengaluru last year. On a day when no athlete threatened the 2024 Paris Olympics qualification mark, the 28-year-old Naina's effort stood out. Naina James leaped a personal best jump of 6.67 meter and marked an advancement from her previous best of 6.55 meter, which was set nearly seven years ago, to secure her the gold medal in the women's long jump event at Patiala in 2017. It is now the third biggest leap by an Indian woman in the country's long jump history. Naina's distance was 16 centimeters of Anju Bobby George's national record and 19 centimeters behind the Paris mark of 6.86 meter. Gunning for the Olympic qualification mark, she is confident in improving this performance in the Indian Grand Prix phase one next month. She trains with coach Pindo Matthew in Thiruvandavaram. Another story from the third Indian Open Gems competition is Kerala's Abdullah Abu Bakr took gold ahead of CWG gold medalist Eldos Paul and Tamil Nadu Selva Prabhu in men's triple jump. 
Kerala's Abdullah Abu Bakr and Eldos Paul were the leading attractions in the triple jump event. In a battle between two Commonwealth Games 2022 medalists, Abdullah Abu Bakr got the better of Eldos Paul in the men's triple jump at the Indian Open Gems competition. Abdullah Abu Bakr, the reigning Asian champion and CWG silver medalist, won his event with a leap of 16.76 meters on his very first attempt. Eldos Paul, the CWG champion, settled for silver with his best attempt of 16.45 meter on his last try. A total of 13 Indian track and field athletes have breached the entry standard for the Paris 2024 Olympics so far. However, Indian men's triple jumpers are yet to touch the qualifying mark for the Olympics set at 17.22 meter. Kerala's Mohammed Anis Yehia and Adira Somaraj won gold, silver for Maria and bronze for Sheena. Kerala athletes keep on winning medals with their best but trying hard to make an Olympic quota. Murali Srishankar in the men's long jump is the only jumper to have breached the entry standard for the Paris Olympics. He did not compete in the Indian Open Gems competition. In Srishankar's absence, another Malayali protege Mohammed Anis Yehia claimed the gold medal in the men's long jump with a distance of 7.94 meter. The qualifying mark for the Olympics in the men's long jump is 8.27 meter. In women's high jump, Adira Somraj of Kerala won the gold medal, clearing 1.74 meters. While in women's pole vault, Kerala's Maria Jason came second, crossing the bar with a height of 3.80 meters and Sheena Envy with a jump of 13.18 meter. Won bronze medal for Kerala in women's triple jump at the Indian Open Gems competition. Nova Nirmal Tom won gold in the 400 meter competition, outperforming Mohammed Anis Yehia. The final proved to be a three way contest between Malayalis itself, with Nova Nirmal Tom, Mohammed Anis Yehia, and Mohammed Ajman. After qualifying for the final with the seventh best time in heats, Kerala lad Nova Nirmal saved his best for the final as he topped his 4 into 400 meter relay teammate and the current national record holder Mohammed Anis Yehia to win gold in the 5th Indian Open 400 meter competition at LNCP in Tiruvanthapuram. Tom, who clocked 48.31 in the heats, improved drastically in the final run as he maintained a comfortable lead throughout the run and crossed the finish line in 46.40 seconds. Yehia, who holds the national record in the event with a 45.21 timing, came second in 46.48 seconds while Ajmal took the bronze with a time of 46.68 seconds. In the under-18 girls category, Mayuga Vinod of Usha School of Athletics Kori won the gold medal with a timing of 58.83 seconds. Mayuga is a plus two student of Puam by AMHSS. Among under 20 girls, Kerala Sandra Mol won bronze medal in 55.97 seconds and in under 20 boys, P. Abiram won the bronze medal in 47.77 seconds. Now it's time for sports in shots. India played out a goalless draw against Afghanistan after both sides failed to turn their opportunities into goals in a Group A fixture of the 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifiers. It was an end-to-end -end contest in the first half with India coming close to scoring through Manveer Singh on two occasions and the host too had their share of chances. With this result, India climbed to the second spot in Group A with four points from three matches followed by Kuwait, who are on three points from as many games. Malayali cricketer Sajna Sajivan won the Women's Premier League season's Best Catch Award. Sajna's diving catch to dismiss UP Warriors player Sophie Eccleston earned her the reward. Mumbai Indian star player also made the season memorable, winning a thriller match against Delhi Capitals by hitting a last ball six. Mar Athanasius College Kodamangalam was awarded the National Award for Outstanding Sports Achievement. Athanasius College won the National Award for the Best Sports Promotion College in view of sports achievements and contribution in the field of sports for the academic year 2020-2023. That's all for last week. See you next time with more sports news. This is me Uttara in Weekend Sports News. Catch us next week. Don't miss the action.